Hello, it's Alexandra Weber with Fasteners. Here is celebrating Women in Construction Week 2024, and we have a special guest joining us today. This is Brittany LaCrone of Milwaukee Pool. And Brittany, I would love for you to introduce yourself and tell us who you're with and what you do. Hey guys, my name is Brittany LaCrone. I'm based in Tennessee and I'm with Milwaukee Tool. I am the territory manager over general contracting and concrete here in the good old state of Tennessee. I love that. Tennessee sounds like a fun and exciting place. So if you could kind of tell us your journey that took you to Tennessee, that took you to Milwaukee, and really what inspired you to pursue this career. Yeah, so back when COVID hit, I was uh, a freelance photographer in fashion and the music scene. So that is what originally brought me to Nashville, one of the fastest growing cities. And I wanted to take a career shift and experience something different outside of working for myself and outside of that creative realm and tap into some of the other strengths that I have. And so when the opportunity was presented to join with Tektronic Industries and Milwaukee Tool, I really hopped on board and took it to the next level and have continued to grow in my career based on all of the job sites that I'm visiting day to day and all of the internal and external experiences that I have the opportunity to really just drive home with. So it's been a really, really exciting journey so far. Brittany, as a leader, what strategies do you consider um, encouraging within a company's culture to really kind of develop that diversity and inclusion within your own team and even into the broader industry? So when it comes to uh, the leadership opportunities that we're presented with, whether it's internal or external, um, I think it all comes back to the type of person that you are and how much initiative you want to take. I think being, you know, someone who came into this industry and worked very hard to understand the norms, understand what was essentially um, the do's and don'ts, it took a lot of time, but it also took a lot of people um, who poured into me. And I think it really bubbles back down to, I took initiative to want to learn, and I took initiative to join these other organizations like the AGC, the ABC, NAWIC, being involved in the UBC and understanding the core of what our trades really are within the field Mm -hmm. and really being able to then scale that up and start to influence and encourage not only my teammates, but also some of the contractors that I'm working with on a daily, on Mm -hmm. the job, to have that same perspective and mindset of, you know, a student mentality or being a sponge and always wanting to continue to grow and always wanting to continue to grow within our skills to take us to that next level of leadership. That is a great perspective and a great way to look at it to really encourage the diversity and inclusion. I'm sure there's moments where you have been so proud of yourself. Um, Is there anyone in specific that you can think of a project or accomplishment meant that you have been most proud of and how did it contribute to your professional or personal growth? I think back to when I first started and I was about two or three weeks into the job um, coming straight up out of our retail side of business not knowing what really uh, going on a job site entailed and my manager at the time said hey this is your goal Um, Your goal is to build a relationship with this person and from there and that initial interactions, I went to a 2 a.m. concrete pour. I started asking all the questions that um, really focused around pouring concrete, finishing concrete, really just trying to be a student of concrete. And Mm -hmm. I think to where I am today and how that relationship has really blossomed into not only a relationship from a customer standpoint, but also someone who mentors me, um, someone who pours into me. And that's something that I'm very proud of. I am such a people person. I love relationships. I love that connectivity. And I think that's something that I lacked within my previous job. And it's something that I have gained being with Milwaukee Tool and being able to look at that holistically. 
I'm very proud of what relationships I've been able to build. Is there any specific time where you can think of that you've brought a unique perspective as a woman um, or a valuable contribution to a project or a decision-making process that really has made an impact on you? Here locally in Tennessee, um, I'm one of the only girls. We do have a, a, you know, a variety of different girls that are on the team doing different things, but within my respective vertical working in the field, I'm the only girl. And uh, where I feel, you know, I bring value and I'm very proud of that is having those different perspectives and looking further into the details, being able to look at the overarching picture, but then also being able to fine tune some of those details and being the person that everybody knows that they can rely on, um, whether it is connecting with someone on a last minute basis, being able to build that you know, foundational relationship back up to um, being top tier or whatever it really is, um, being able to be the reliable person on my team is something that I hold very close to my heart and I, I lead with honor um, and being able to really take that to the next level when say, you know, some of the team needs help being able to bring it together within that one team mentality. So I would probably say that. Yeah, I think reliability, absolutely, I would agree, is a valuable contribution, whether you're working externally with your customers or internally, being someone that you can you know, be depended on is, you know, speak for itself. People know who they can ask the question and know they're going to get a result from. Is there any other skills or quality, you know, outside of reliability that you would think really would help to help women succeed in this industry or would be crucial for women to succeed? Yes, I was always told when I um, first started to have a bulldog mentality and uh, I didn't really know what that meant at first, but I think I've really found that over the last two or so years. Um, I think it really boils down to leading with confidence, um, but also having an aspect of humility because you you can't fake it till you make it in this industry. You can to a certain degree, but I think that if you're always leading with questions and always having that um sponge attitude having that humility but also being able to lead with that confidence you're going to go grow leaps and bounds especially as a female in this industry um i am really excited to continue being able to mentor people um especially women internally and externally um within my organization to be able to find that confidence and find something that they know that they're really good at. And for me, I love, again, connectivity. I love relationships. And so I really lean into my relationships and that's where my confidence has grown to be able to continue having that bulldog mentality mm -hmm. um, and having that confidence within. Absolutely, Brittany, confidence is key. The next question I have for you really is directed toward what career advancement looks like and you know how can we be strategic and looking for more equal opportunities and more career advancements for women in different types of roles or maybe even specific to your role yeah i was gonna that's a really great question um i think that outside of that confidence and being able to lead with that um comes back to being able to receive feedback and being able to take that feedback, apply it very quickly and grow from it. Um, one thing that I, again, really like to hone in on is having that student mentality and whether that is directly related to the, the trades in the field or back to your personal growth, it really goes hand in hand together. And I think that being able to continue growing in this industry in a strategic manner boils down to how you're receiving that feedback from other people, how you're learning to work with other people, how you're learning to have hard conversations. Um, and ultimately, that all together, wrapped up into a pretty bow, is going to help you to continue to grow in your career 
and continue to advance within your respective organizations um, to continue building those relationships that are going to help you, you know, within your personal growth and within your professional growth. So I think that it all just really boils down to what your perspective is when you're coming um, and receiving that feedback from your peers, your mentors, and your managers. Brittany, that was such great advice. The final question I have for you is also related to it. And if there is anything that you would want to share with young women that are considering a career in construction or a field that's related to construction. Yeah, I think that when you hear the word construction, you think of a very male dominated industry. And I'd be the first to tell you that things are changing and the women like Alexandra are changing that industry and the industry norms. And don't be afraid of being someone that is a part of that change. Don't be afraid of being someone who is probably, you know, maybe for the first year and or so going to be one of the few women in their in the room. Um, don't be afraid to speak up and uh, express your creativity, express your opinions and your beliefs, express your ideas. Um, that's always going to get you to the finish goal and the finish line of that success strategy. And I'm so glad that I have found myself within construction, found myself within Milwaukee Tool because I'm very happy with what I'm doing. I feel very challenged. I feel very motivated. I feel very excited about what my city is growing, what my organization ultimately is being able to grow as well. And being a part of some of those really outstanding job sites that we're seeing across the nation. For me, my respective ones are, you know, Nissan Stadium here in Nashville. Um, Blue Oval, where Ford is building their um, electrical vehicles and those batteries, being able to be a part of something like that, it's incomparable to other industries. It's incomparable to other experiences. And I'm very passionate about that, if you can't tell. So I just want to say thank you so much from Fasteners for participating and for allowing us to celebrate you as a woman in construction this Wick Week 2024. We are so honored to be celebrating you. Well, thank you, Alexandra, for the opportunity. And I hope that everyone gets a, has a wonderful week um, for Women in Construction Week and go girls.